to my channel. My name is Martha. If you are new around here, please subscribe. If you are not, well, hello. Thank you for joining me again this year. I know that we've been in 2019 for a hot minute, but I still wanted to share this video to you guys because every year I look forward to it and I hope that you guys do too. So if you're interested in seeing what I feel this year is going to be about for my life and maybe for your life as well, then keep on watching. Oh yes, um, I got braces, so let's just not talk about it, move along, it'll all be okay. <laughs> okay, so like I said, every year I share a message about what I feel God is saying about this year, specifically for my life, and maybe you'll feel that you can relate to it as well. Uh, previous years, it's been pretty spot on, and last year was like 100%. I was like, am I a prophet now? I do not know. But um, God really fulfilled what that message was about. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'll link it all down below, maybe up here for you guys to check out some of my previous messages that I've shared. This year was a little different. I tried to upload this as soon as possible, but I really um, was praying and just really focusing on what God wanted to share for me in my life this year. And to be honest, as you could probably tell from the title, it's not very like, you know, spiritual and all about this and like, you know, theological. It's pretty simple. And the message that I feel like he put in my heart for this year is just keep going. And I want to share a little bit about how I got to this and um, how I feel this is going to resonate throughout this new year. God really reminded me about Philippians chapter 3 verse 12 through 14 and I'm gonna read it. So it says, not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. For me, when I read this, I was like, yeah, this is it. Like we can stop here. This is definitely what God is telling me. And I was honestly really shook when I came to this like conclusion of what my theme for this year would be because I really thought it would be something super like spiritual and theological, but really it was just, just keep going, like press on like what scripture is saying here, what the apostle Paul is telling us, you know? Um, and yeah, I can just so relate. There's so many moments in our life where you know we're facing hard situations, um, the storms, the deserts, all of that stuff, and you just feel like giving up and just giving in, you know. But I really just feel like God is just telling me and this generation, like just keep going, like just keep pressing on, strain toward what is ahead. And I so love this because I so believe it for this year to just keep going, to just keep chasing God. And really, some of my thoughts. I have specifically about this I really haven't arrived at my goal I have so many dreams and I have so many goals that God has put in my heart and I know that he's made so many promises for my life and I haven't yet seen a lot of those you know so I don't want to give up right now I don't want to let whatever is affecting me right now affect me in the future if that makes sense like I just want to keep going and don't let anything or anyone stop me from achieving what God has called me to do I looked it up and the definition of straining is force to make a strenuous or unusually great effort and I was like that is so true because when we are you know chasing God we really have to like force ourselves and give our best effort it requires a lot of sacrifice it requires a lot of you know discipline and strength that God gives us right and I think that it's really cool that it says this you know straining toward what is ahead like we can't be lazy we can't just expect to get there overnight it takes a lot for us to get to what God has called us to so I totally love that and I think that's something I'm just gonna keep in my heart just straining toward what is ahead straining toward 
toward what is ahead. It's going to cost me a lot. It's going to be a lot of work, but I'm going to keep straining myself toward what is ahead. Um, I have some notes and something I wrote down is that fulfilling God's calling will require you to strain and to stretch yourself. And uh, yeah, like whenever there have been moments in my life where I felt like God was calling me to do something, there was a moment where he would just stretch me and where I would have to strain myself, you know? And so I totally see that this is what 2019 is all about. Just God stretching me and me responding to that and like straining myself, if that makes sense. <laughs> I think if we want that breakthrough that our generation is so badly craving, we're going to have to do what the scripture says, forget about the past and strain towards the future. Um, and I also really like that this theme repeats, uh, press on. Like I really, really, really like that. Just press on, press on. On. And I think that's a great reminder in our everyday life as we're chasing God, like to just press on, like to just keep going, even when you don't think you can. And I feel like this is going to be a year where God really tests me in a lot of different areas in my life. And I just want to press on even when I don't think I can or even when I don't want to, you know. Uh, just to be honest it's so simple you know just press on it's so simple but it has a lot of meaning and it has a lot of reward at the end and just some final thoughts of mine are that i'm going to keep going i'm going to keep chasing god i'm going to keep preaching the gospel keep believing keep dreaming keep working and just keep loving that's that's all I want to do this year, just keep going in all of these areas. <laughs> also, when I was reading this scripture and thinking about it and praying about it, a song immediately popped into my head and it's a song that is so beautiful by one of my favorite artists and it is Come What May by Lindy Conant. And I love this song. I mean, I love all of her songs, but I love this song um, and I want to share the bridge of it it says i will obey you god whatever may may say i stand on promises i know my god has made with no regrets in me my lips will praise your name and though earth gives way i will not be afraid because you are the lord of lords you open every door you stand in victory and now my heart and now my heart is yours i will trust in you god and i will not be moved when persecution comes i choose to stand with you ah. I love this song. After this video, make sure to check it out because it is amazing. I'll link it down below. Um, yeah, I'm just so believing this. Like, whatever may come in this new year, I don't know the way that our government, the way our society, the way that mankind is going it doesn't seem like we're going in a very good direction so come what may this year um for all of us and for my life personally i want to choose to stand with god i want to choose to stand in his word i want to choose to stand in his victory and his love and that is kind of what I am feeling for this new year that although things may get hard for us as believers um we just need to keep going and God is faithful, you know, that's what we have to remember that our hope is in him and that he never fails us. He sustains us throughout every season of our life. And yeah, I hope that you feel some type of encouragement or inspiration through this. I don't know what to expect from this year. I really, really don't know. I like to usually have a certain plan but last year god really taught me that it's not about that it's about trusting him so this year i'm just trusting him and believing in him and this message for me was like spot on like just keep going martha whatever may happen just keep going so yeah let me know in the comments down below what your theme or you know scripture whatever it may be that you have chosen for this year in the comments i would really really love to know i think it's so amazing that we you know focus on something each year that the Lord is putting in our hearts and if you would like to you know join me in my journey throughout this year you may follow me on my social media you may subscribe to me I'd love to see your beautiful face around here hey before this video ends I wanted to share to you guys that my friend Phil Strangalagali I hope I said his name correctly 
please forgive me if I didn't. He sent me over his latest devotional, which is called Jesus Loves Movies. It's so super cool. It is a devotional for those of you guys who are really into movies, which most of us are in this generation. Um, movies like The Guardians of the Galaxy, Inside Out, Frozen, Mean Girls, Wonder Woman, that's my fave, and Cinderella. So it's a devotional that goes along with scripture and like tied into like a movie. It's really, really cool. He was kind enough to send me a book to give away to one of you guys. So if you would like to win this book, then make sure to leave a comment down below saying whatever or specifically about what you feel for this new year. And also your social media details like your Twitter or your Instagram where I can DM you. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Follow the instructions. I'll have it listed down below in the description box as well. So it's more clear for you guys. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, Phil. And I hope you guys check out his awesome book. I don't know what else to say other than I'm thankful for God. I'm thankful for this new year. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for everything that God is doing in my life. And I'm so looking forward to what 2019 will bring for all of us. So God bless you guys. I love you so much. And I'll see you guys again with an all new video. Bye guys.